I'm Darren Marlar, and this is a Weird Darkness Bonus Bite. From PewResearch.org, many Americans report interacting with dead relatives in dreams or other ways. Written by Patricia Tevington and Manolo Corici. Many Americans report that their relationships with loved ones continue past death in some way. Around half of U.S. adults, 53 percent, say they have ever been visited by a dead family member in a dream or some other form. And substantial shares say they've had interactions with dead relatives in the past 12 months. 34 percent have felt the presence of a dead relative, 28 percent have told a dead relative about their life, 15 percent have had a dead family member communicate with them. In total, 44 percent of Americans report having at least one of these three experiences in the past year. Women are more likely than men to say that they've had these kinds of interactions with dead family members, and people who are moderately religious are more likely than others, including those who are highly religious and those who are not religious, to have experienced these things. The survey was conducted March 27 through April 2, 2023, among 5,079 adults on the Center's American Trends panel. It includes Americans of all religious backgrounds, including Jews, Muslims, Buddhists, and Hindus, but there are not enough respondents from the smaller groups to report on their answers separately. While the survey asked whether people have had interactions with dead relatives, it did not ask for explanations. We don't know whether people view these experiences as mysterious or supernatural, or whether they see them as having natural or scientific causes, or some of both. For example, the survey did not ask what respondents meant when they said they had been visited in a dream by a dead relative. Some might have meant that relatives were trying to send them messages or information from beyond the grave. Others might have had something more commonplace in mind, such as having dreamt about a favorite memory of a family member. Overall, 46 percent of Americans report that they have been visited by a dead family member in a dream, while 31 percent report having been visited by dead relatives in some other form. Roughly two-thirds of Catholics, 66 percent, and members of the historically black Protestant tradition, 67 percent, have ever experienced a visit from a deceased family member in some form. Evangelical Protestants are far less likely to say the same at 42 percent. Roughly half, 48 percent of Americans who are religiously unaffiliated – atheists, agnostics, and those who report their religion as nothing in particular – say they have ever been visited by a dead relative in a dream or other form. However, those who describe their religion as nothing in particular are much more likely to say they have ever been visited by a deceased loved one – 58 percent – than the agnostics – 34 percent – and atheists – 26 percent. When asked about recent experiences, things that have happened in the last 12 months, 34 percent of Americans say they have felt the presence of a dead family member, and 28 percent say they have told dead family members about events in their life. Fewer respondents, 15 percent, say a deceased family member has communicated with them in the past year. Women, again, are more likely than men to say they had at least one of these experiences in the last year – 53 percent for women versus 35 percent for men. For example, women are more likely than men to say they recently have felt the presence of a dead family member. When it comes to religion, about half or more of Catholics, 58 percent, members of the historically black Protestant tradition, 56 percent, and mainline Protestants, 52 percent, say they've had at least one of these three experiences in the last year, significantly more than the 35 percent of evangelical Protestants who say the same. Relatively few atheists, 15 percent, or agnostic, 25 percent of adults report any of these experiences over the last 12 months. In contrast, roughly half, 48 percent of those who say their religion is nothing in particular reported one of these experiences. These experiences also differ by Americans' religious commitment, as measured by a scale that includes indicators of religious service attendance, prayer frequency, and self-assessment of religion's importance in one's life. Americans with medium levels of religious commitment are more likely than those with either high or lower levels of religious commitment to say they have felt the presence of a family member who is dead, told a dead family member about events in their life, and felt a dead relative communicate with them in the past year. Summing up this pattern in another way, people who are moderately religious seem to be more likely than other Americans to have these experiences. This is partly because some of the most traditionally religious groups, such as evangelical Protestants, as well as some of the least religious parts of the population, such as atheists and agnostics, 
are less likely to report having interactions with deceased family members. Find the link to the original story in the show notes, and find more news in the Weird News and blog at WeirdDarkness.com.